This is Xavier from Army Recognition and we are on the Kongsberg exhibit at DSCI 2014 in London, UK with Kiri Lone, Head of Communications at uh, Kongsberg. He will introduce the GSM and NSM missiles to us. And we are here at the DSCI for I think it is the 10th time and one of the most important products we display here at the DSCI are the naval strike missiles and the joint strike missiles. The uh, NSM missile is developed and is already in production for uh, two nations. It is used by uh, the Norwegian Navy for the Fridtjof Nansen Frigate class and the Schold Corvette class. Uh, the Polish Navy has also acquired the, uh, the missiles and they're using it on trucks from land defending their uh, coastline. It is a very uh, uh, versatile missile in the sense that you can use it on ships, on the frigates it is deck mounted, whilst on the uh, corvette it is underneath deck and is elevated to be then fired uh, when needed. And of course it can be used on the trucks and also the helicopters. It is uh, a very modern missile in the sense that it was developed during the last 10-15 years. And we see that many of our competitors are already 30, 20, 30 and even 40 years in design. So we have great confidence in the naval strike missile for the future markets. The other missile is the Joint Strike Missile next to us here. It is currently under development and is being integrated on the F-35. Our country, uh, Norway, has decided to buy, to acquire the F-35. And Norway, as a big coastal nation, has a requirement for a modern long-range strike uh, missile, anti-ship, and also land capability. Uh, it was finally decided to develop the JSM based on the NSM. But of course the F-35 uh, is a stealthy platform and we are then adapting or changing the NSM, you might say, uh, for the JSM to fit inside the weapons bay of the F-35. And when it fits inside, the platform remains its uh, stealth capability. Uh, so a few changes has been done. If you see the NSM over there, it has the air intake on the under, underneath the missile, whilst the JSM has two air intakes on both sides of the missile. And the wings are also changed a little bit to fit the weapons uh, bay. Some of the most important characteristics of the two missiles compared to other designs are that they are stealthy design, they're both uh, passive, they have an imaging infrared uh, missile, so it does not emit any signals. Uh, we believe in uh, smart missiles uh, rather than speedy missiles. Uh, we believe subsonic is uh, smart and not supersonic in the sense that we can then design missiles in a way that they are stealthy, they can go extreme low over sea, sea skimming, extreme low. And they have the ability to maneuver when approaching the targets, high G maneuvers. So it is very unpredictable for a ship to, uh, to engage. So we believe going smart is uh, more important than going fast. We believe that a fast missile will be detected further out. And a fast missile also needs to use active uh, seekers and it will then increase the probability to be detected further out. I believe that uh, we will have the opportunity to see a real NSM system at Eurosatory next year. The plan is to come back at Eurosatory in Paris next year in, uh, in June. The plans are not yet completely finalized, but our ambition at least is to come back with a equipment uh, with NSM and show some real equipment uh, there. Uh, we have strong faith in the NSM and also the uh, Joint Strike Missile and it will be an important piece of our display of course at the Eurosatory uh, next year. We really look forward to see the complete NSM system at Eurosatory next year as Army Recognition will be the official online publication for this event.
Curry, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And for all the explanations you gave us. Thank you very much. And for full information about the GSM or the NSM, you can go over to NavyRecognition.com and check out their data sheet.